We'll continue our coast to coast basketball tour in the Los Angeles area. For that, we go to Joe McCann. Southern California, the ocean, the beaches, the weather, and the athletes. Year in and year out, some of the top prep athletes in the country come from this area, both boys and girls. And this year, one of the top girls basketball players in the country can be found at prestigious Modern Day High School. Located just south of Anaheim in Santa Ana, California, Modern Day boasts an athletic tradition that rivals any other school in the country. Just look at their Hall of Fame and you can see all of their championships, All-Americans, professionals, and even a pair of Heisman Trophy winners. Katie Lou Samuelson may be the best girls basketball player in the 2015 class, and she loves being surrounded by all the tradition at Modern Day. Oh, it's just amazing to be to know that I'm at a school with such great athletes and great accomplishments here. It's just a blessing to be a part of this and be at this school. Oh, it's a blessing to be able to coach here. It's probably one of the best high school jobs in the country. You know, every year we get to play on a national level, uh, play a national schedule, travel around the country, and get to work with great players. Among the names enshrined in Modern Day's Hall of Fame is Kalina Mosqueda Lewis, a player we met here a few years ago, who is now a star at women's basketball powerhouse UConn. Kalina was named the California Gatorade Player of the Year as a senior in 2011. Last year, Katie Lou brought that prestigious award back to Modern Day in her junior season. Well, it's crazy because I knew Kalina when I was little. She played with my older sister, and just growing up, I would never have guessed that she would have been player of the year and then I would have followed after her like a couple years later. It's just amazing to be able to do that after her. This is our third uh, Gatorade State Player of the Year and Kalina Mosqueda Lewis went on to get the National Gatorade Player of the Year, which Lou, you know, stays healthy. God bless, you know, she can have a chance to do that. What makes Katie Lou the best player in the country? With her 6'3 frame, she looks like a post player, but she has seemingly unlimited range on the court. Her game has earned her the nickname, the Lurantula, because of some comparisons that can be made to the NBA MVP. Someone was like, because they compared me to Kevin Durant one time, which was probably the best compliment I've gotten, and they said they called him the Durantula, so they're like, oh, well, you're the Lurantula. Yeah, that's really good. That's really accurate. She's, uh, she, she does play like him a little bit. You know, she's kind of that thin uh, basketball build, great perimeter shooter, good off the dribble. Uh, looks like she needs to get stronger. Kevin looks like he needs to get stronger, but he, he's doing pretty good. Katie Lou can thank her family for her outstanding ability to shoot the ball. Her father, John, played professionally in England. And while there, he met Katie Lou's mother, Karen, who played netball, which is essentially basketball without a backboard. She also has two older sisters, Bonnie and Carly, who helped Stanford reach the Final Four last year. They're just amazing. They have supported me throughout my whole life with basketball and everything I do and it's just great to be able to I grew up watching them play and just looking up to them all the time it was just fun that we all did the same same sport and we got to play together it's so exciting that you can I can watch them on TV I get to see what they're doing and it's just good to know that everything that they've done and we've practiced when we were five years old that they're accomplishing it in college but if you think Katie Lou's skills are all genetics you'd be wrong she's been successful because of her work ethic when people see her shoot and they say, oh, I mean, she's a really great shooter, people just don't realize how much time that is and how much time her, she puts into that shot. You know, it's easy to say someone's got a lot of ability, but that kid's shooting 500 to 1,000 shots a day. My parents, um, my dad especially, has been, shoots with me all the time. He's the one who taught me how to shoot. So just, he trains me, and so just training with him, he's helped me with basketball. And as in college and stuff, they support me wherever I want to go, so. They're just, it's good to have their support. While her family has obvious ties to Stanford, Katie Lou has decided to go the same way Kalina Mosqueda Lewis has and play for defending national champion Connecticut. Winning championships at UConn is just one goal of hers. Having played with USA Basketball, she wants to continue to represent her country and hopefully play basketball for a long time. I hope that maybe I could play for professionally and maybe make it um, play more with USA Basketball, but that's just Hopefully if everything goes well and keep working hard, but I just know that you got to keep working hard for that or else it won't happen. I don't think she does have a ceiling, and that's, that's the scary part because I think she's just scratched it. I mean, she's going to get stronger. She's going to get more physical. She wants to be the best. She wants to be the best player in the country. She wants to play at the best school in the country. She's just really ambitious, and she's driven. Whatever goals Katie Lou Samuelson sets, you better believe she has a great shot to achieve them. In Santa Ana, California, I'm Joe McCann.